The Commission on Elections begins to decrypt and print the ballot images for Camarines Sur, Iloilo, and Negros Oriental. The move is connected to the election protest of former Senator Bongbong Marcos against Vice President Lenny Robredo. The COMELEC started the process on Monday after getting the green light from the Supreme Court, acting as the Presidential Electoral Tribunal. Marcos's lawyer, Vic Rodriguez, says the printed images will facilitate and expedite the election protest. Rodriguez says the decryption stage will take about seven months, but Robredo's lawyer, Bernadette Sardillo, says the timetable will depend on Comelec. In his complaint, Marcos asked for a ballot recount in 36,465 clustered precincts, his second cause of action. But the PET ruled initial recounting of ballots will have to be conducted in Camarines Sur, Iloilo, and Negros Oriental first to determine the merit of Marcos's election protest. Commission on Elections Chairman Andres Bautista on Monday says Malacanang Palace wanted his resignation to take effect immediately and not on December 31 as he originally indicated in his resignation letter to President Rodrigo Duterte. Bautista's term was supposed to expire in 2022, but he filed his resignation on October 11, hours before the House of Representatives voted to impeach him. Bautista says he received a letter from Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea accepting his resignation effective immediately. Medialdea in the letter says, quote, Upon the instruction from President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, I wish to inform you that your resignation is hereby accepted effective immediately. Ambassador Marciano Painter Jr., head of the ASEAN Organizing Committee, says a total of 21 heads of state and government will attend the ASEAN summit in November. Painter says among those expected to attend are United States President Donald Trump and United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The main summit will be held in Manila, while preparatory meetings will be held in Clark and Pampanga. President Rodrigo Duterte earlier declared non-working days in Metro Manila, Bulacan, and Pampanga from November 13 to 15 to ensure that the movements of the visiting leaders and diplomats won't be hampered. Follow Rapper.com for continuing updates.